The state school's improvement strategy, Every Student Succeeding, is Queensland's plan to lift the educational performance and well-being of each child and student in our state schooling system. The strategy acknowledges the range of diverse contexts for our schools and communities across the state and provides clear guidance to support all of us in our shared work. That is, achievement, engagement and continuous improvement for Queensland's state school students. In essence, school improvement. The school improvement hierarchy tells us where we are in our journey of continual improvement. But what does it look like in practice? And what role does each member of a school play in ensuring that every student is succeeding? The school improvement hierarchy is the foundation for everything we do at the college. Um, over the last six years, the leadership team has developed three pillars that drive all of our improvement in the college. Those three pillars are pedagogical practices, professional practice, and connectedness and wellbeing. Each of the school improvement hierarchy aspects is represented within those three pillars uh, and they inform everything we do in the college going forward. In our college's work around um, projecting forward and developing our vision for the future and um, around our enduring relevance, we've done some work in the past 12 months around our infinite game thinking. Uh, in that process we revisited our college's just cause and decided on uh, nurturing globally competent learners, leaders and citizens as our touchstone and our just cause for the college. Clearly out of that you look at what are the skills required for a globally competent learner, leader and citizen and digital technologies are, um, are front and centre in that space and that informs and, and gives Sue an imprimatur as the hot of e-learning to drive that agenda. Having that structure as a head of department is fantastic. It gives really clear direction about what our priorities are, um, how we need to implement them. With the Digital Technologies National Curriculum being so new, there's not a lot of data that we can look at and, and use for continuous improvement. So we scan outside of the college those industry needs and, and identify those priority areas and make sure we are implementing those within our planning, within our curriculum implementation. We continue um, to engage our community. Uh, we learn from them around what the, the next set of skills or, or um, technologies are that they're using in the workplace. They also learn from us about the current skill set and the, and the attributes that a 21st century learner has, which is often a real eye-opener for them. Having an expert teaching team, apart from those teaching skills that's so critical to be effective in the classroom, is for our IT teachers to have uh, really strong knowledge and skills related to their curriculum, the knowledge of the curriculum, but also that connectedness into industry, understanding what's happening in industry, how the technology is being used. Um, and that openness to learning all the time. So maybe an industry mentor. Um, and my role is all about supporting them to do that. Having that trust in them that they are excellent teachers who know their stuff, um, but me being able to provide any support that I can as a head of department. Targeting the use of school resources, testing and trialling devices, establishing learning communities and supporting teachers and students to have a go is also a big part of how we maintain an expert teaching team. We have a school-wide pedagogical framework, so that helps us as teachers to know that we are teaching effectively and we use the gradual release of responsibility with a strong focus on collaborative learning. Yeah, and effective pedagogy, it's all about continual learning with the team, with your students. We meet regularly with Sue to uh, improve our practice. Yeah, she gives us feedback and comes and, you know, we talk about areas we want to improve in and she helps us to achieve that too. Something I've learnt that I could implement at any school would be the importance of connecting with industry and with networking and finding out what expertise uh, exists in our local community. Making those connections is really important because it helps also to show students what pathways are available to them and getting them connected earlier to potential employers. 
So differentiated teaching and learning uh, in our classroom looks like setting individual goals for students, um, finding out what their pathway is beyond school, what sort of skills they want to acquire in our subjects. Yeah, that's right. We get a, a lot of students who have different exposure to coding. So different levels. We have some students who have never done any coding before. So the, the key is we do a lot of collaborative learning. So those differing abilities can learn from one another uh, and just pick up different skills. So that's a big part of it too. Uh, well, I think the hands-on learning we do is just really fun and helps us get a better understanding of what we're exactly looking at. Yeah, with all the hardware we're learning about, it definitely helps. Um, yeah, I agree. It's really fun with the hands-on learning, but I also like the um, persistence that you have to have where you like make a plan, you have to keep refining it and refining it again. It just like, yeah, it's cool to see how it all comes together in the end and like that you created it. It's really cool. When I leave school, I definitely want to do something involving technology, whether that's coding or engineering, or even making music for games. Currently, I'm in the Queensland Ballet program, so I'm looking at going into dance, but then after that, I'm interested in going into physiotherapy, and it'll be cool to see how technology works with that, and if there are any wearables that let you know how your patient's going and things. Technology, it's evolving and it's going to become part of everyday lives soon. And so it's just good to know how it works, what it does, and even like how to make it. The aspect of like how it's going to be involved in every single job in the future means it's really important for us to like learn about it. So um, yeah, like the ad 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 adaptivity that you have to have to like keep learning about the new technologies that come out is like going to be really important in the future. Differentiated teaching and learning ensures every student is succeeding. To learn more about school improvement journeys, search one portal for the State Schools Improvement Strategy, the STEM School Reflection Tool, and the EdTV website for snapshots of practice. Knowing where we are in our school improvement journey is important because it supports informed decision making and guides our next steps. There's a range of facets to our improvement journey in technologies, but what's important is that we have a plan an explicit improvement agenda, and for us, partnerships with community have been a huge part of that. 